Hello, my friend. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Um, I was journeying the other day and this phrase came through that I was just going through my notes and it came, came back into my here and now. So I wanted to talk about it and just kind of show a little bit of like when you get messages or like little phrases pop into your brain, A, how they are messages from your guides or yourself or your spirit team or whatever, whomever it may be, but they are definitely messages meant for you. And B or two, I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> they can have so many different meanings and they can have so many different layers. So the phrasing that came through was surrender to the current. And so the first thing that popped into my head was, you know, at the moment that this came through, I was under a tree and I was spending time in nature and really connecting to the energy and the essence of the fairies and the whole space. And I was thinking of, you know, in, it happened in, what was it called? Harry Potter, when they are, you know, going, it was a sorcerer's stone when they got like caught in the roots and they're like getting sucked down into the thing and they're like thrashing around. They're like, oh my God, holy shit, what's happening? I'm about to die. And then it's like, if you calm and you surrender to it, like surrender to the current, like the riptide, when it gets you, it's gonna fucking get you. If you surrender to it, you might have a better chance of like coming out or like popping out. But if you're thrashing around like a motherfucker, you might not, you might not make it. So surrender to the current was a really cool phrasing that came through and it was a lesson for me. Um, I'll go, like, I'll tell all the different dimensions of how this is applicable or all the different compartments that this one phrase, surrender to the current, is helping me. And hopefully, or maybe it can help you or I hope this resonates with you. Um, comment below if if this is something that you are are resonating with or if this is something that it can be applicable, applicable in your life and where you're surrendering to the current. Um, so in my own personal life, um, I'm going through a food cleanse. I had mentioned it before, um, removing different uh, food items to kind of identify some allergens and to just heal my deepest core wound. And um, so I've been thrashing like a fucking monkey, just like literally like, I miss sugar, I miss this, I miss that. But it's like, Oh, the, um, the other day I was at one of my jobs, I work at a restaurant and we were having our family meal and I haven't had a speck of sugar in over a week. And I had a salad that was made and after the first few bites, I was like, there's, there's balsamic, there, there's sugar in this. And I felt it right away. I knew it right away. I, you know, honored the food. I had set myself a small plate, so I honored the food and I ate it. And um, it wasn't gonna be disrespectful to that. I committed to it. And the next day I woke up and you know, like my skin was irritated again. Like it, I felt like that thing and I was very frustrated. Um, so I've been having these moments of frustration where I want to be, you know, lifting heavy on my exercises, where I want to be going a thousand miles a minute and I want my body to do what I need it to do. And surrendering to the current of this healing journey. Like we just had a Pisces full moon, super clearing water energy. So I just picture like a waterfall of divine light just coming over and washing me clean. So that's fucking cool. But also, what if we change the terminology of current instead of being the current waters, be our current moment and our current climate. Surrender to the here and now. This is life. This moment right here is life. This is all we have is this experience, this moment with myself and you, wherever you are. We're completely quantum. I record these videos and then I post them. So we're connecting outside of time and space. Look at you being all multidimensional and shit. That's fucking cool. Didn't think you could do that, did ya? Did ya? But, um, but yeah, so surrendering to the current moment, um, surrendering to the current pull of really wanting and needing to heal myself and to know that this is my deepest work and to be jazzed about that. Like, healing is not for the fucking faint hearted. Like, this is, 
this is difficult and it's joy filled and beautiful and effervescent and lovely, but it's, a, you know, you got to put the work in. You cry your tears and you, you know, work hard and honestly and just, yeah, it's a beautiful life. But surrendering to the current can be difficult for forward thinkers, for leaders, for, you know, beings that wear a bunch of hats or beings that hold space for people. If you hold space for others and you have to take a rest, like this car keeps fucking popping up for me. I don't want to rest, but I must. So in certain ways, I have been kinder to myself as far as my body and what I ask of it. Instead of asking my body to do things, I'm asking my body what it needs from me. What does it need to feel nourished? What does it need to feel supported? Drinking more water than I ever have in my, you know, conscious whatever period of time it was. But, you know, I did it in ways that worked for me. Made it fancy, made it saucy, made it snazzy. But that's me surrendering to the current. Is accepting exactly where I am, but falling in love with that moment and falling in love with myself in that moment and falling in love with getting to know myself. So I hope that that maybe speaks to you. Comment below. Let me know, you know, how you are surrendering to your current current. Haha. <laughs> like that. But thank you so much for being here and for being aware and for being kind, for being conscious. How can we be kinder today to ourselves and to others? I love you.